<clears throat> so I thought I'd try something a little bit different this week, and that is to tell you a bit of a story. A story about one of the biggest failures in my life and some of the lessons that I learned as a result of it. I know some of you have asked me to share a little bit more about my personal life and what I do and things like that, and so hopefully this is in the vibe of what you like. But today we're going to talk about my startup failure story. So several years ago, I decided to become a part of a healthcare app startup. That was something that I thought at the time was a really good innovative idea. I met someone who had started building this technology and with my experience in marketing and my background in consulting and professional speaking, I thought I could be a great partner, someone who could actually help to grow the app. Now in the back of my mind, I had all these fantasies of becoming a tech startup billionaire. You know, I was fantasizing that I was gonna drive all these fancy cars, I was gonna fly first class around the world, I'd be talking on stages about how I created this really innovative technology and how I was this amazing in innovative founder, all this kind of crap. The truth was that I didn't know what the hell I was doing, but I put some money into the app, I decided to invest my time into it, and I essentially quit my other career to spend most of my time working on trying to promote and market and build interest in this new technology. Now the problem is, when you're working on a team with other people, very often you have different ideals and different work ethics. And I'm not saying anything specific to criticize the people I worked with, but there was a lot of discussions and meetings and replanning and re-strategizing, and things never really actually got off the ground. And in fact, over two and a half years, I think I probably wasted maybe 60 to $70,000 of my own personal savings trying to keep myself afloat while we were trying to launch this app. Of course, there was always the promise that one day it was gonna be worth a lot of money and that we were gonna make a ton of money when we sold it or that we got a proper investment or whatever, but it never came to fruition. And the thing was, at the time, I really felt kind of embarrassed about the fact that I was failing at something that I thought I should be good at. And I didn't really know how to fix it. I didn't know how to solve it for myself. But that was an important lesson for me because there are times in your life where you think you're gonna do something, you're gonna be great at something, Thing. Maybe you have a fantasy like I did, thinking you're going to excel in some certain area of your life, and you just don't. And that's just the way it is, unfortunately. And I think for me, in this time in my life, I had a real wake-up call about what my skills and my abilities were as a person, and they certainly weren't in the tech startup world. You know, the world of technology and apps and, you know, all that kind of stuff, Silicon Valley, all that different stuff, it's very seductive and it's very appealing, and I'm not trying to criticize anyone who has ambitions in that area to to do something for themselves. But there is also a lot of fakeness and a lot of bullshit and a lot of people talking out their asses when they don't really know what they're talking about and they're making things up as they go. And sometimes that does work. There are occasions we've seen companies, you know, go from nothing to become unicorns and their founders become billionaires as a result of not knowing what they were doing but making it work. But the vast majority don't succeed. And I was one of those cases. As I said, I initially invested my own money, my own savings into the startup. And then I also probably wasted another fifty to $60,000 of my own money, my own money that I'd saved. I wasted keeping myself afloat while our app was supposed to be being built and was supposed to grow and develop in the marketplace, which it never did. Now, I'm not trying to say that I'm not at fault at all. There are certainly things I could have done better. I could have had better skills. I could have had a better reality check knowing that, you know, I wasn't going to succeed as soon as I thought I was. We weren't going to make the kind of money that we thought we were. But after after that experience, especially towards the end when I realized that this was going nowhere, I really struggled with giving up the ghost, with actually quitting on my dream or my you know, desire to be successful in this area. It took me probably six months to finally admit to myself that this is not going to be a success. And that was a really tough decision for me because I'm the kind of person where I will persist with something and I will keep pushing myself. And that's why I wanted to share this today. I know it's a bit of a different video for me, but I wanted to share the reality that sometimes things don't work out like you think. I am an optimistic, positive, forward-thinking person. I'm a person who believes in self-actualization and personal growth. But but there are times in your life where you will make a decision and it doesn't work out the way you want to. And that's why I wanted to share this this week is just a little bit of an insight into something where I made a big mistake in my life. I certainly paid for it financially and time-wise and in personal setbacks, but it also taught me resilience and it taught me that sometimes even though something doesn't work out, it's still worth giving it a shot, and at least you know at the end of the day. Probably though, the biggest lesson that I learned from my startup failure was that I didn't like the work. 
even though I had all these dreams and aspirations to be rich from this technology that I invested in and that I was putting my time and effort into trying to promote, the truth was I didn't really care. I wasn't passionate about the industry. I wasn't passionate about the technology. I just thought that it was a good way to make money. And you see this a lot you know, in the technology world where everyone says they're gonna change the world through their app or their software or whatever. The truth is a lot of people, we're just out for the money and we don't really have that love and passion for it. And that was probably the biggest mistake I made. I did didn't love what I was doing, therefore I didn't put everything into it, and that's a big reason why I believe it failed for me. My friends, I wanted to share this this week as a little bit of a different video. Hopefully it gives you a bit more of an insight into me and my you know, past and the things that I've experienced, and I think sometimes in your life you just have to face the truth of a situation. You just have to realize things aren't going to work out the way you hoped, and that you need to move forward and you need to find another way to succeed. Fortunately, since then, that was several years ago, I've been able to reinvent myself in business and I've also found other passions such as YouTube and also professional speaking and different things like that which have started to reinvigorate me and make me feel much more alive in my life and give me the kind of success that I was seeking over the long term. I am not a tech startup billionaire. I probably never will be but you know what that's okay. Not everyone needs to be Elon Musk or Mark Zuckerberg or Steve Jobs or whatever. It's okay just being who we are and making a difference in our own way, in our own business or our own industry or our own hobbies and interests. So my friends, I hope this video was useful for you. Maybe you're in a similar situation. Maybe you had a story where you started a business or you were part of a startup that didn't succeed. I empathize with you. I would say to you, keep going, keep trying new things, but sometimes you've got to realize that if your heart's not in it, maybe it's time to pack it in and find something where you really feel that it makes you shine. My name is Daniel Midson Short. Please leave a like on this video if you liked what I had to say, or leave a comment below sharing your experiences. Please consider subscribing. We'd love to have you as part of our community. Thanks for watching, and as always, thank you for improving yourself. Ah, I feel cleansed. Woo.